Okay, so this Sunday in Chicago, Illinois, there is a WWE pay-per-view, and there is seven matches. That's right, seven matches. Now we're going to start with the World Heavyweight Championship. Dolph Ziggler has had his little time off while we've been entertained by Alberto Del Rio and, of course, uh, Zeb Coulter and... Uh, his one that he's been backing, the All-American American Jack Swagger. Now, I personally, we know Dolph Ziggler is the champion. Alberto Del Rio is the, um, uh, I can't even think of the word tonight, uh, the challenger. I'm going to go with Dolph losing because he's just too cocky for his own good. And who knows, maybe that crazy AJ will go over and switch sides from Dolph to go over to be Alberto's girl. It could happen. Okay, that brings us to the Divas Championship, where Caitlyn is the champ, AJ Lee is the challenger. I see a title change happening. Why? Because AJ has um, her own t-shirt right now. There just seem to be... Uh, Sometimes the heel character wins over the baby face. This is one of those times. I believe AJ's character has gotten more strength. And Caitlyn tonight seemed very weak. Um, I know that 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 was the way they wanted it to look. Like Caitlyn was the poor defeated one. Uh, having uh, AJ pull that Big E was her um, secret admirer. Um... But I just see AJ winning that situation. We're going to go to the United States Championship match. Which, by the way, on Raw, that was a great moment between Kane and Vicky Guerrero, I thought. Um, top props for that. Uh, the big hug. What a great situation. But Dean Ambrose is the champion. Kane is the challenger. I would love to see Kane win this match. Will he win it? I don't think so. I think Ambrose is going to retain they want to build the shield up, therefore the shield, I see all three retaining, actually. It's a sad situation, but Dean Ambrose will probably retain. The tag team match for the tag team championship, which is the shield, Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins versus Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton. Um, I guess we're going to have to call this Team Hell Never. Uh, thank you, Vicky Guerrero, for that. Um, however, I don't see Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton winning, although Daniel Bryan has been shocking me lately with this brand new bravado of going after the uh, bad guy, so to speak, and trying to prove everyone wrong that he's not the weak link. So maybe, just maybe, they'll prove me wrong and win that match. I'd like to be proven wrong on that. Wade Barrett which is the champ, versus Curtis Axel, versus The Miz, a triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship. Now, I would love to see Wade Barrett retain, just because I like Wade Barrett. But, we all know that WWE never stays the same. Therefore, I don't see The Miz winning this one. But, unfortunately, I see that Curtis Axel winning this. Why? He's Mr. Perfect's son. And that whole thing tonight, let's go ahead and hit my baby's favorite moment there, which was my poor Triple H being cheated not once, but twice by Vince himself. And let me tell you, I was sitting there screaming at the TV. No joke. I just love trips that much. And Vince, you did him wrong. Furthermore, I could not get over Stephanie's attitude tonight. I want to give her top props for the way she got her husband and her father both in the same room. However, she handled that whole getting them together to talk over the situation wrong and to get them to stop arguing. She simply let out this blood curdling scream. That just, uh, -uh. that was not cool. And the family hug 
it's totally not cool. I, I really would like to see Triple H versus Vince at this payback pay-per-view, and I think that would be way overdue. Sorry, but it just, tonight's Raw rubbed me the wrong way with that whole McMahon family saga. I totally think that Trips was getting the raw end of the deal. Uh, Chris Jericho versus CM Punk in the singles match. Now, here we have who is the best in the world. CM Punk's been out, and Jericho has been very good at challenging, um, especially with that walrus Paul Heyman as his um, speaker for CM Punk. That makes my blood just boil. I can't stand Heyman. I'm sorry. Who's going to win this one? I'm going to go with Chris Jericho. Y2J. I just think that he's wonderful. And I, he, I can see him winning against CM Punk. Although, let's not forget, this pay-per-view is in Chicago, Illinois. So, Punk may win. Especially if they want to get him out of his slump. But I'm going to choose Jericho. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And, of course, we have that three stages of hell match, which personally to me is three stages of hell to have to watch the three stages of hell match. I used to like Ryback, but anymore his promos are long-winded and pointless. He's more of a crybaby. We have John Cena, which to me he's been... having to save Ryback on some of his uh, promos, if you ask me. But anyway, it's a lumberjack match, a tables match, and an ambulance match for the WWE Championship. Who's going to win? I'm going to go with Ryback. Just for the simple reason he's not the champ now. Ryback, or John Cena is the current champ, but I don't see him retaining. And I forgot, we do have a kickoff match uh, before all of the festivities for uh, the payback pay-per-view. There's Sheamus versus Damian Sandow in a singles match. And I have to say, personally, I think that one belongs on the pay-per-view, not on the kickoff match. Because I've been more entertained with their go-between uh, that Damian has put uh, Sheamus through uh, between that not thing and he's just been so entertaining I just find that uh, Damian Sandow will probably win that match I'm calling it that way I don't see Sheamus winning it just for the simple fact that I kinda like the bad guys so that is your blonde bombshell calling the payback pay-per-view winners now, if they add another pay-per-view, uh, another match to the card, I'm probably not going to get to call it. But that is who I chose for tonight. And I hope and pray that you all have a glorious, wonderful week. I don't think you'll see me again for a little while. But uh, God bless and may the Lord keep you safe from harm. Love you all.